Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by for this video. I hope you are having a wonderful Tuesday and today I'm going to be sharing with you another decorate with me video and we are going to be getting my kitchen ready for the fall autumn season. So I really hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. I am really enjoying filming them. I don't go too crazy with decorating the kitchen but I do like to add some fall touches, so I hope that you enjoy this one and let's get started. So of course the first thing that I am going to do is light another autumn candle and today I will be burning autumn sunshine from Bath & Body Works. This smells amazing. Next I am going to clean off the counters as well as my existing decor. I am using the Method Daily Granite Cleaner. I love using this on my countertops. And then here I am just going to be doing the decor hack that I mentioned in yesterday's video, which is just wrapping a plastic bag or plastic wrap around a loose stem and then sticking it in the vase to make it a little bit more tighter. I also bent this stem just to make the whole bouquet a little bit shorter and now I am just rearranging this so that it looks nice and full. Moving on to this corner of the kitchen, as many of you know, I love this birdhouse and as much as I want to keep it out year round, I feel like putting it away will make me love it even more when I see it again next year. Again, with a wobbly and loose bouquet, I'm going to do my decor hack and all is good. Here I am adding some garland to our window. I love adding garland to windows. I think that it gives such a cute and cozy look. Before filming this video, I did clear a good portion of this counter space off on the left hand side just because I felt like it was getting a little bit crowded. So if it looks a little bit different, that is why. And I don't put any decor over here just because it is our little drink station. And if you guys haven't noticed, these floating shelves are the new floating shelves that I purchased from Target. And I am absolutely loving how they look. And again with the garland, I am adding a string of garland to this ledge that overhangs above the man cave. And then I am adding a second string of garland just to give it a really filled up and lush look. Leaf garland definitely does not have to look perfect. I just want it to look like there are a ton of leaves everywhere on this ledge. I am considering moving this tree to a different space. Decorating this area and cleaning it is extremely hard just because the tree isn't very secure and with all the crystals that I have on it, it is obviously extremely fragile, so you may see this tree in a different area, possibly the dining room in the future. Let me know your thoughts. I have also moved this mirror since my last home tour, and I am really loving its new spot. Now I am adding some scarecrows to this ledge, and scarecrows are such an inexpensive and cute way to decorate for fall, I think, so I just put quite a few of them over here. Another inexpensive decor hack is to buy a string of leaf garland and then pluck some of the leaves off of the garland and then just casually place them in miscellaneous areas. I absolutely love this look. And that does it for my kitchen decorate with me video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Tomorrow I should be posting the dining room decorate with me video or the living room. So we shall see which one I get up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. Also make sure to check the bottom description for all of my upcoming videos. I have a ton listed down there that you may be interested in. So thanks again, take care, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!